Hi guys, my name is Tyler, and welcome to the very first episode of my Christian Music Week in Reviews. Each week on this channel, I'm going to take five releases from the previous week in the Christian world, be it albums or singles, and just come back here and share my thoughts on them. I've been a huge Christian music fan now for 11 and a half years. It's helped me to express my faith in Jesus, so I'm very excited to do this channel and just talk about what I think about it. Alrighty, so without further ado, let's get into the first release, Red's new single, The Evening of Hate. But before I dig too deeply into it, a lot has happened for this band in the last half year that I probably should discuss first. So Red's been one of the biggest Christian hard rock bands now over the course of their last six albums. But earlier this year, after all that success... They decided to leave their major label and start their own independent label. They also, at the same time, started a GoFundMe campaign, which is only 75% fully funded. So, if you guys want to help them keep making music, I'm going to leave a link in the description. And hopefully you guys will go and give to that and help these guys continue to make great music. They also added a new band member, officially... And I say officially because he's been their touring drummer ever since Joe Rickard left a few years back. His name is Dan Johnson. And some of you may recognize him as the drummer for Brian Head Welch's Christian metal band, Love and Death. Now that I explained everything that's going on with Red, let's talk right into the single. So the last sound gone, even though it still rocked pretty hard... It had a lot of electronic elements thrown in, which I am not always against electronic rock, but I just felt like it wasn't done right in this case. That's my opinion, though. Some of you may disagree with me, but that's just what I think about it. It just wasn't done right, song in, song out. So I was very happy to see that in this new single, they returned to the old Brad, the... Loud guitars, the violins, all that stuff. They brought it back for this single. In fact, I would venture to say that the guitar riffs are a little thicker on this single than they were before even. So, that was pretty cool to see. As for the message of the single, the lyrics are kind of dis are real descriptive. So, it could be a little hard to figure out the meaning. But I do think after looking at the lyrics, that it does talk about the pain that he causes, which it does. I mean, there's pain when somebody hates us. There's pain when we hate someone else. There's just pain from that. So, very good that Red tackled that as the first single for their upcoming seventh album, which I do not know the title for. I do not know the release date. So, we'll just have to wait and see. Next release, American Idol contestant Shea Wilbur's sophomore EP, Unmovable EP. She takes a pop worship vibe here. I think there's a little country element sprinkled in too, if I have it right. Um, the EP is very worshipful and it talks about, in a lot of the lyrics, her unmovable faith in God. Hence why the EP is called Unmovable. And she trusts that in all the circumstances of her life, God is in control, which is so true. Next release, Apollo LTD's Out of Body. Now, some of you may know them for their hit single, Gold. I really like their pop alternative sound, and I don't always get into this kind of stuff. But for some reason, they I felt like they did it right. Uh, they had real big simps, and as for the lyrics, a lot of the lyrics seem to talk about how God takes the broken us that we were, and he makes something great out of it, which is so true. I mean, Second Corinthians says, if anyone is in Christ, he is a new creation, so that's what the CP, I think, is talking about. Alrighty, up next, Danielle Apicella and her single Wilderness, which features guest rappers 
Tori Deshawn and Brian Byron Wayne. Even though I do think he actually takes more of a hip hop sing role in this song, at least. Now this song kind of is neat. So it's kind of a common thing in the C A H Christian hip hop industry these days to see rappers and pop artists collaborate, which is awesome. A lot of times though, it'll be rapper does a couple verses. Pop singer comes in, sing chorus, move pop artist, come back and sing something in the final part of the song. But it's the other way around here. The rapper does the first verse, and then it kind of falls into this pop thing for the other two verses. That being said, I really like it. And the song called Wilderness, because... It talks about how oftentimes we're not meant, we, we are who we're not meant to be spiritually. And she compares that to like when the Israelites were on the wilderness when they were supposed to be in the promised land. So I like the message of that and it has a good sound to it too. So that's great. Alrighty, final release. Five's new album, Family Business, which is the first release of some of these lumber frontman Joseph Rojas's new hip-hop label imprint, True Breed Records, which joins Rockfest Records and Brunswick Records as a part of the, I think it is at least, as part of the Nashville label group family. Yeah. Now, I was really into the first few songs of this album, but it kind of dragged on a little bit, in my opinion. However, I think I did grow to appreciate the later tracks as I did more listening to it throughout the week, so. As for the lyrics, he seems like he talks a lot about staying committed to Christ in this rap game, and he also talks about um, relying on God to do that, so... I really like that. I really like the lyrics here. Very overtly Christian. Um, even though there's nothing wrong with the Christian crossover rap, I like that stuff too. And we'll cover that another time. Well, that's what I got for this week. I hope you enjoyed this channel. Like I said, if you want to support Red financially, just go to the GoFundMe link that I'm going to leave below. And I hope to see you next week with some awesome releases. Uh, spoiler alert, it's actually going to be six releases next week, technically, because I'm going to cover two Skillet singles, but it's still going to be the same five artist format, so I do hope you come back, hope you check out the channel, and hey, if you like what you see, please press that subscribe button, and please go tell your friends if they like this style of music as well. Alrighty, we'll see you next week, bye!